Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This today I am going to speak something about parenting. This is the book written by me in the year 2015. The topic is the parenting with psychoclinical touch. One of the topics from this book, of course, 52 topics are being spoken, very practical topics. One of the topics that I am going to choose today and to talk to you about parenting. Parenting has become very Herculean task today. Unlike the previous generations, today's generation are suffering with th this sort of concept of parenting. Therefore, I am going to speak something about the psychology of the children today. I am sure parents and the teachers will benefit from this simple and straight, uh, straight topic. 21st century, my dear friends, has been divided into four types of generations. The first two generations, we call them as uh, veteran generations. The second generations, we call them as baby boomers generations. And the third generation, we call them as generation Xs. And the fourth generations, the present generation, we call them as millennial generations. Unlike the previous generations, the present generations are growing up with internet, iPads, great bullets and bikes, a great fast speed cars and they have got YouTube, Facebook, televisions, music and all sorts of technological technology is available to them. Probably this is one of the diffic typically difficult generations to handle. With. Therefore, these points to know about the psychology of the children today probably it will be a great help for parents to know about them. We need to understand and analyze the characteristics of this generation. This does not mean the previous generations are better than the present generations. No, I am not here to praise about the previous generations and blame about the present generations. Every generation has got its own advantage and at the same time its own disadvantage. Every generation is unique. Therefore, my dear friends, the psychology of the present day generations are few, few topics, probably few characteristics that I would like to share with. The first characteristic is they are highly intelligent kids. I suppose all of you will agree with me because probably every parent today is educated. Therefore, they are being provided with more information, more knowledge, at the same time greater access towards greater knowledge. You have internet available at the click of the mouse, any topics can be researched can be found therefore you have greater access they have high eq even i was studying in the student the 80 marks was the highest marks today probably even if my son is scoring 100 marks i am still not satisfied probably 100 probably 10 of them are scoring 100 out of 100 therefore they are highly intelligent kids iq level is very high the second characteristics they are more sheltered kids more protected kids over protections more pampered kids they do not like to be corrected they do not like to be in the sense given little little corrections but rather they like to be protected they like to be affirmed all the time they like to be uh, spoken something positive about them therefore more protection is given third type of a characteristics that we come across is the lower eq they do not like to be listening to others. They have less empathetic, less caring attitude towards the parents. Probably when the parents, when the mom and dad speaking about their own difficulties and struggles and slogs, children are not ready to pay attention to that slog of the parents. They like rather to run away from the parents because mom keep quiet, dad keep quiet, do not talk about your slog. I will run away and settle down with uncle's house. This is the attitude of this generation. Low EQ, by the way, emotionally they are very, very low. Therefore, whenever us and one requires emotional resilience is weak in this generation. The fourth characteristics that we find, media as virtual parents. 
every now and then they are attracted towards the media. You look at their own reading skills, writing skills, observe their interpersonal relationships, hardly you will find those things doesn't matter to them. For them, whether parents exist in the family, in the house or not, they are not worried. They want all media, media gadgets to them. That will make them happy and satisfied. Therefore, virtually, media is becoming another parent into their lives. This generation, my dear friends, they are more visual and less auditive, positive things. They like parents who walk the talk. They don't like parents who all the time talk and talk, do not practice it, they do not like. This generation is demanding about visual type of a model. My parents, my mom and dad should become a visual model to me. Only then I listen, otherwise I wouldn't listen. Therefore, my dear friends, they are challenging the parents today can I, can my parents be visual model today? That is what they are expecting. Therefore, parents have to walk the talk. Only then they are effective. For example, in the family, if I have, please do not watch a television. When I say to my children, when I say to my children, I also need to practice that. I also need to avoid watching television. Only then it is possible. Therefore, I need to walk the talk. They are no longer liking your talk, but rather they like when you practice what you do, what you talk. And another characteristic is that they are more edutainment oriented, which means education has to have lots of fun, lots of entertainment. Only then they like you. The classroom has to be, classroom has to be, or the home has to be having lots of humor and fun. Only then they like learning. If the classroom is with boring long lectures and very strict to discipline, they do not like it. They like discipline. They like little classroom activities. Everything is filled with the fun and entertainment. The, the learning takes place, be it in the house or be it in the classroom. Another characteristic, important one is that these generations do not like any type of discriminations. They like equality, equality, hello, do not treat us good or bad, higher or lower, but rather come on, treat us equally. Therefore, they do not like any hierarchical system, gradations they do not like. That's something beautiful to reflect upon. Egalitarian society, that's the, that's the, the idea this generation is growing up with. Another topic, another characteristic probably is, this generation is very much open. Okay, they look for lots of perspectives. They have not this perspective, they look for another perspective. They are eager to learn more. This generation has got lots of confidence. Why? Probably they have higher educations. They have plenty of knowledge available to them. They have confidence with them. They are growing up with probably appropriate and positive self-esteem. Therefore, they are highly confident kids. They can manage anything. Unfortunately, another characteristic, they are pressurized to succeed. Unlike the previous generations where only a handful of them studied and they got government jobs or probably better jobs, opportunities. Today, everyone is studying in the villages, in the towns, in the cities. Everyone, every parent wants their children to study. Therefore, when, when in classrooms you go, in the, in the schools you go, you are filled with lots of students studying. Therefore, lots of pressure, lots of competitions available. In this contest, by hook cock crook, I need to be successful. Therefore, the parents also give them lots of pressure. Success is the only motive. That's why parents are trying to give them, keep on giving them lots of feedbacks. And unfortunately, they give lots of undue expectations. They, they place lots of undue expectations on the student. Therefore, they are highly pressurized to succeed. Another point is hero worship. Probably, my dear friends, if Salman Khan delivers this talk, everybody likes to listen. If Shah Rukh Khan delivers, probably if Amir Khan comes here and talks about parenting, everybody likes to listen. Ordinary person like me talking about it, nobody pays much attention. Hero worship has become norm of our young generation's mind. Probably the recent movie Kabali was released. Overnight it produced millions of dollars. Why? People like their own heroes to be worshipped. Hero worship is one of the basic essential characteristics of this generation. We give, we are addicted to movie stars and celebrities. We are addicted to singers and cricketers. 
that is that is the reason probably our hero worship today's generation is another negative element probably we can see it in that realm then another point is that probably the final one which i like to say is the multitaskers the child or the students who is growing up wants to do five six jobs at the same time when the five six jobs he is able to complete it he is able to accomplish he is not able to accomplish it perfectly when i am doing five six jobs at the same time am i able to be accomplishing every job successfully in a perfect manner probably not when i am able to study i am able to listen music play music probably i am listening to chatting with my friends all this when i do at the same time probably my study academic results come down mommy i have passed passed with the 45 marks can i did i pass with the 95 percentage probably no my dear friends therefore like to say it's multitasking yes it is good for sometimes but not all the time when i am able to focus upon one particular thing at the same uh, one by one if i am able to concentrate i am able to achieve greater success these are the few characteristics of this generations if you want to tackle them if you want to understand them perfectly we need a certain gu guiding principles to understand them perfectly probably this generation is trying to tell us i need to be visual parents i need to be a visual role model to my children if i am a visual role model to my child son or daughter they would rather listen to me better secondly they are trying to tell us come on you listen to me listen to my verbal and non verbal cues don't condemn me don't all the time advise me correct me don't give me all the time suggestions and feedback i am not interested don't judge me with a with a preconceived ideas but rather listen to me perfectly 100 percentage am i able to listen to my children probably i am listening to uncles and neighbors and aunties but i am not listening to my children when i am able to listen to my children naturally my children will children will, will be able to be in a better position to be better people and another one important thing is that correct them sparingly affirm them lavishly when i do little little corrections when i appreciate them and affirm them okay lavishly surely my son or my daughter is going into the right path another important one any learning probably at home or in the teaching line in the classrooms make it more fun and my another another important point is that am i becoming relevant am i becoming creative so as to understand the creativity of my children am i able to tap the resources the talents that my son is having probably every traditional parents wants their children to be engineers and doctors do we, engineers and doctors do we allow them to 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 continue with their passions and dreams many times you can watch a movie called three idiots that can give you a greater picture about greater picture about how to tackle how to tap the resources talents from your all children my dear friends another important point i would like to tell you about is that can i can i allow the creativity of my children therefore my dear friends spend more time with the relationship building with my children we when we are able to spend the time with our own children naturally many things can be worked out many things can come and finally i would like to say two important points one is about can i have a self checking sessions with my children probably example when i have internet connections when i have laptop at home do i keep that laptop in a common place where everybody can check in whatever the children are doing that with the laptop do i also go there and check it out if i keep that one in the private bedroom there are only lots of negative elements lot of non acceptable sites are being watched by my own children and another thing that a final point i would like to say is that the struggle with which you grew up the slog and the sufferings that you grew up with the success that you are enjoying is because of your hard work sometimes one or the other way you need to communicate them in a different manner this does not mean i am telling you to make them suffer and struggle and come up in life no make them responsible when they are growing up probably a 5 year old son is available i have my 5 year old son probably if i have 5 year old son i need to make him responsible in whatever category that he can be when he is in 10 years what is possible that i need to 
keep on giving him slowly simple little little responsibility therefore when he grew up as 15 year old boy a 16 year old boy already he is growing up with great responsibility this is how as a parents okay but as a parents i can make my son or a daughter become much more responsible to live in this in this challenging environment in this challenging context therefore my dear friends i'd like to tell you this book gives you plenty of practical topics about parenting i have lots of points to discuss about but all the same this is a little small youtube by listening to this please please i hope this sort of video can assist and help you in your parenting journey i hope you will continue to watch my youtube and please do not fail to subscribe my youtube thank you